What is going on, everybody? Frank here for the Bakersfield Gentleman, my brother Miguel. We're at Culebra Cigar Lounge today in Bakersfield, California, just a few steps from Washington's Video Studios. And we're gonna be taking a look today at two cigars from two different cigar monthly subscription boxes. Uh, Miguel's gonna be taking a look at the Casa Cuevas uh, Blue Label, their Connecticut version from Luxury Cigar Club. And I myself will be taking a look at Southern Draw, the Cedrus from Provada Club. Nice. Now, we've subscribed to these uh, subscription boxes for about three months now, yep. and I gotta say, I've been very impressed with both. Um, they both are at a different price point, but you are getting different things in the different cigar um, subscription boxes. Um, for the price of the um, Provada Club is what again, Mike? It's about $40. About 40 bucks for Provada Club, yeah. and you're getting three sticks, and you're getting some pretty damn good sticks too, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this one was from last um, month, and the Cedrus is a cigar I really, really love, but for whatever reason, we just don't have it cigars anymore yet. Um, we have the rest of the line. I would like to say it's coming, but I will have to check the orders on But that. it's a year late. I mean, it's about been out for a while now. It has. So, it has. Um, we're going to have to get on them and let them know they need to start ordering these, because I absolutely love this. Uh, this one is called the Southern Draw Cedrus Hogan, and it is the Bellicoso shape. I actually got to smoke this uh, with Mr. Hogan, the guy that it is named after, and Mr. Holt and Sharon Holt, uh, the owners of Southern Draw. Uh, at IPCPR last year. It's actually really nice. There's only about a handful of us uh, with them sitting down and smoking these and talking that morning. So really, really cool experience. Um, on the flip side, uh, with the Luxury Cigar Club uh, Casa Cuevas uh, Blue Label, which is their Connecticut, that's actually one we had while we were over in uh, Scottsdale. This would have been at, not Fumar's, was it? Was it Fumar? I think it was. Is it, the, it was. is it the blue label or the black label? This is blue. Okay. That, that's definitely blue. Just making sure I can't see it from here. It's kind of dim in here. Um, now you got me questioning my own color. No, no it is. The, the black label is clearly darker. Yeah, that Much is Connecticut. Better, yeah. um, but we were there uh, with James from Sinistro, and he was showing us around uh, that cigar lounge in Humidor. And as we like to do, we like to try to find cigars that we haven't had before. Uh, I saw that, and I grabbed it. And without knowing, you had grabbed the same cigar. I had. Um, going through there, there was... A great selection first of all but a lot of the things that I had tried before and then there was a few that popped out and you know it would just happen to be the one I picked mm -hmm. and uh, luckily I did because it actually is a great cigar I'm happy to have seen this again um, especially in our area where I don't see it very often uh, so it's nice that when you go for a box like Frank is mentioning uh, you might find things that you wouldn't normally find in mm -hmm. your area and again the same way I had a great experience smoking the Cedrus uh, with the Holt family and, and Mr. Hogan uh, that Casa Cuevas right there, I had a great time with it too because uh, I picked it up, I sat down, and I was watching the Phoenix Open um, while it was happening in Phoenix, which is really cool. Yep. And the guys there were so welcoming and so cool. You know, I don't really know a whole lot about golf, but they were explaining to me why they were doing certain things, why they were taking this shot as opposed to that shot. And um, it was really cool. There was actually an ex-pro golfer that was there um, having a cigar with us. So yeah. really, really cool. Two great experiences and two fantastic cigars. So we're going to give you guys a review today. And uh, Mike, you want to start off with the uh, look and the smell and the cold draw. Yeah, sure. It is unbelievably smooth. It smells very much like hay. It has a nice hay aroma to it. A little dense, but a little spongy in certain spots, the cold draw. Very easy. You get a little bit, like the faintest amount of pepper, like the very little bit before you wouldn't even notice it. But it's very nice. I'm liking that band, I like that very much. If I remember correctly right here, notes, yes. It is an Ecuadorian, Connecticut wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and a Dominican and Nicaraguan uh, filler. Mm -hmm. It's obviously gonna be a little lighter, but uh, nothing wrong with that. I tend to go for medium, medium full uh, sticks anyway. So if you're looking for something a little heavier, you might wanna go to their black label um, which I believe is, yes, they're Maduro. Mm -hmm. But for right now, we're going to stick with the blue. Yeah, and on the Cedrus here, you guys, is the Bellicoso 5.5 by 50 Q ring gauge. Um, it actually comes out of the A.G. Fernandez factory in Nicaragua. And the wrapper is an Indonesian Sumatra called uh, Basuki TBN. The binder is a Havana 2000 from Esteli. And the filler is a mixture of Dominican and Nicaraguan. Um, on the, the notes that they give you for Provada Club, they actually give you notes as well for luxury. Um, but we had moved a bunch of stuff around uh, the studio, especially my set. 
and I misplaced it, so that is my fault, not Luxury uh, Cigar Club's fault. Um, they give you a nice little um, uh, postcard looking thing with all the flavor notes and all the information on the cigar. Um, yeah. Bravado Club actually does a paper instead. Um, both are great resources. I just happened to misplace the one for Miguel, so that's why he's got him to use that. Um, so that's my fault. Yeah. And I flipped my paper over. Huh. Um, they actually said you get a honey smell off of this, and I'm actually, I'm not getting that. Off, off the, uh, the smell, I'm getting like a raisin hay and pepper. A raisin. Yeah. Hmm, very nice. And off the cold draw, See, off the cold draw, I get a honey and pepper flavor. Okay. Not off of the smell. So a little more sweet in the draw than mm -hmm. you see in the smell. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And this is actually kind of a, it's a box press Bellicoso, which I actually really dig. I really like that. I don't know what it is about box press, but I'm coming around and I'm starting to be a bigger and bigger fan of box press. Yeah, I never really was, but there's never been any problems with them either. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes construction can be a little different. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, and the construction on the Southern Draw looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the wrapper is nice and silky. The corners aren't perfectly um, straight as far as the uh, box press goes. It's a nice rounded box press, which I dig. And of course, everybody knows that I'm a big fan of this Bellicoso shape uh, in any size or any cigar I can find it in. So I'm going to go ahead and light this up, guys. If I can work it lighter. Just give it just a little bit of a toasting here. Mm-hmm. Now, there are some other um, monthly subscriptions that are out there, guys. Two Guys does one. Uh, Cigar there's Dave. A Cigar Dave. There's Stogie, Stogie Bird. Bird. Um, but I'm still trying to get a hold of them because we were supposed to do something for them. Um, but I need to hear back. So if anyone over there wants to hit us up, message the page. And if there are some things that you want to kind of relay to the cigar subscription people, any of the other companies, the ones you already subscribed to, Something you'd like to see done either differently or something added to it. Uh, I think suggestions are always nice. So if you want to voice those, I'd love to hear them in the comments, guys. And off the bat, this is starting off extremely like it got a great roasted nutty flavor going on. Nice, subtle spice, but it's definitely there. Uh, an underlining sweetness of that honey that's coming through definitely. And uh, just starting off really, really nicely. Oh, now, yeah. There is a little bit of pepper in the back of the throat. I was mentioning that before. If you're eating something that is um, more mild in strength, um, they were saying how the pepper is very um, dominant. And it's not a bad dominant by any means if you're thinking like, oh, it's overpowering. No. It's just the most prevalent uh, flavor right now. Nice smoke. There is a bit of that hay scent, but I'm also getting the flavor, mm -hmm. which... Um, being more of a, a farm guy, I really do like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It just reminds me of that kind of work and just a good day out in out in nature. Mm -hmm. so I really like that smell. I like the aroma of that. Um, yeah, just barely getting a couple puffs in, and that's that's gonna. I can tell it's gonna be nice. And uh, I know I've enjoyed this before, guys, as we said before, but I'm gonna enjoy it again right now. Starting off on this uh, cedrus here, the smoke isn't as thick or oily hmm. as I remember it being. Uh, but the finish does last quite a long time. Uh, you get the pepper in the back of the throat. You get that little bit of sweetness towards the front of the mouth on the tip of the tongue. And there's also like a, uh, a leatheriness in there that's kind of trying to peek out. It's not as predominant as I would think it is, but I definitely do taste it in there. So it's got some complexity going in right away. Uh, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And uh, just a side note, uh, as Mr. Hogan told us, make sure you eat something before you have the cigar. Uh, we had it first thing in the morning with them, and he's like, I hope you guys ate. <laughs> We're like, uh, no. <laughs> that was a heavy day. And you know what? <laughs> that was also the day of the fire, I believe. It was. Um, there was there was an electrical fire at IPCPR. Luckily, Jewish state. Luckily, <laughs> everyone's stuff was pretty much safe. There was a couple of damages, but... It, they said that more damage was done by the sprinkler system than the fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which is sad, but... I mean, at least the whole place didn't go up. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, but we'll get into these, you guys. And uh, I'm sorry not to cut you off, bro. Um, we'll get, definitely get into these, and we'll be back with you in just a second. I did want to say thank you to Chris uh, over at East Coast Cigar Club for providing us with uh, my shirt. And, of course, Miguel wants to thank uh, Cigar Porn, I'm sure, 
for oh, their yeah. their shirt. Yeah, I love these shirts. They are very comfortable, guys. So are the East Coast scarves. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, he did not skimp on those. They are quality stuff. So make sure you guys pick one up of each. Go and join East Coast Cigar Club, the Facebook group. They also have a page. Go like it. And go check out Cigar Porn on Facebook as well. But go to their site, CigarPorn.com. They got some other awesome stuff too. More designs, more colors, uh, more stuff coming at you all the time. Go check it out. All right, guys. We're back with you. Just a second. All right, guys. So getting into the first third, you can see here the Cedar's Ash is holding on very nicely. Um, great draw. Almost perfect burn line, fantastic smoke output. I um, actually stepped outside and was uh, uh, outdoors having a smoke and talking to someone. And um, it held very well during the conversation, which I really like. I um, didn't have to keep babysitting or anything like that. Uh, I will say it's not as um, as hefty as I remember it being. I do remember it being a bit more of a, a, a pack-a-punch type of cigar the first time we had it. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but I don't doubt that it will definitely build in strength as we go. The complexity has been great. Still getting that roasted nutty flavor. Still getting that leather in there. Definitely some mm -hmm. nice like cedar wood uh, in there as well. And those are all mixing together. Beautifully hitting the palate at different spots and uh, making it one hell of a damn complex cigar that's really flavorful. Oh, I, if I, what I remember correctly, because again, it has been a little while, love that cigar. Mike, how's your uh, Casa doing? You know what, last time we had this, uh, we was, it was our last stop in Arizona, um, Fumar was, so I was pretty cigared out at that point. Yeah, we I, had I remember few. liking it, but I'm liking it a lot better now. Are you? Because I can you know, have a chance to actually enjoy the flavors, mm -hmm. my first cigar of the day, um, and it's, it's almost night and day how much mm -hmm. more I'm getting out of it now. There is still that, that hay aroma I'm getting out of it, there's a decent spice, not a very long finish, but every time... I take another puff, it's very enjoyable. Also, I don't have to babysit it like you're saying. My burn is pretty dang straight, although I have been just hanging out sitting right here. Mm -hmm. And another thing, those for those of you, uh, those of you who want a couple cigars in a row and uh, you're kind of sticking with one uh, in particular, this wouldn't be a bad call. So if you're having cigars with buddies and you know that you're gonna be kind of going through a little bit of a marathon, yeah. uh, the strength right there is not gonna get you. That spice, I can feel it on my tongue, but it's not too much. It lets you know that something's there. Um, no, I'm curious to know because they also have the Habano and the Maduro, correct? Yeah. I would I would like to know how smoking those back to back would be if you were going to do a marathon like that, or maybe if the Habano is a little less um, powerful than the Maduro, maybe going light, heaviest, and then medium to round it off. Mm. I wonder how that would work. I so I would probably go heavy to lightest. Ah, okay. Um, in my own, just because this way, if I'm going to be sitting there the whole time, maybe watching some movies, some guy, maybe mm. probably. A, a long sporting event like the Super Bowl will probably be something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to start off heavy and then by the end of it kind of taper off. I would definitely think if I was going to do Southern Draw uh, for an event, uh, I would definitely start out um, with the Rose of Sharon. Yeah. Then maybe go to this guy and then maybe the 300 Hands or the Kudzu. A Kudzu is pretty heavy still mm -hmm. to me. Um, I don't remember which one's supposed to be strong. I think this one's supposed to be the strongest. This is, I believe, from what I remember Mr. Holt saying, is this is the strongest cigar they've made to date. I want to say the same thing. I want to say they said that. Uh, I don't, I th that's a bold statement right there. I think, yeah, I think I'd rather go heaviest to lightest. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the uh, the event, hopefully that strongest cigar kind of lets me uh, <laughs> lets me catch up to myself. Yeah. But teach their own. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and get into the next area. We'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, so I'm just about to get into the last third here, and I gotta say, I've had some nice flavor transitions. It's actually gone into a really deep cedar wood flavor with some espresso coffee bean notes in there. Really, really nice. Um, gotta say, I'm loving it because it's leaving a really long finish of that wooden coffee flavor, and um, that's probably one of my favorite um, flavors to get out of a cigar is that coffee flavor. Oh, yeah. Um, so oh, yeah. for it to mix like that and be a long, long finish, really digging it. Construction's been phenomenal. Ash is falling off in nice, solid chunks. Um, burn line just about razor sharp. Draw is perfect. Smoke output is impeccable. So can't say enough good things so far about this Cedrus. I knew, I knew what you were going to say, too, because I, it's good stuff. Yeah. It really is. So then draw always does a good job. And I got to say, I'm enjoying mine so much right now guys i'm getting a little further than frankie is obviously mine was a little shorter stick um so i probably won't have too much to say on that last <laughs> but no worries i'm kind of getting into it right now 
The flavors have been changing just a little bit. The spice is still there. There's a nice woodiness to it. I'd say more uh, oaky than, than cedar like my brother's having right now. But uh, they are much different sticks. I mean, I have a Connecticut wrapper on yours. Yours is uh, Yeah, this is a uh, Sumatra, Indonesian Sumatra. Yeah, so obviously they're going to have some different flavors on there. But uh, as far as construction goes, though, mine has been great as well. Uh, smoke output's been nice. Getting a little warm now because I am getting down to the end. And it's still a, it's getting a little spongier. And even with my little tear, I don't do a really big one. If you can kind of see that, kind of widen itself a little bit. And I'm getting a little bit of tobacco in the mouth. If you mind that, it might bug you. So you might want to use probably a V-cut. But uh, in my case, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. it's, it is what it is. And it's still very much enjoyable, guys. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and finish this out and give you the conclusion in just a second. All right, guys, so just about finished with the seed just here, and I gotta say, again, I had a great set of flavor transitions. Um, I thought it was odd. I was trying to find the flavor uh, in my mind, and I noticed a certain kind of uh, nut, and I came up with uh, salted peanuts, hmm. like roasted salted peanuts, and then I look at the description, because I don't read down that far, to and it that. said right there, peanuts. I was like, okay, I feel better about myself. I, I concur with them. Um, I also do get a really, really heavy oak flavor coming through now. It actually has changed from the cedar to an oak. Nice. Um, as well as there's still a really good sweetness coming through. So would that be a heavier wood flavor for you? Or just a different kind of wood flavor? Um, for, for me, the oak flavor is more uh, pungent and pronounced. When you taste it, you definitely taste it. Um, cedar, yeah, for me, is, is a lighter wood, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah. again, definitely, it's definitely night and day uh, to me and my palate, whether it's cedar or oak. Yeah. Um, I know some people say they get like pine or like other kinds of wood in there. I think the cedar and oak are the ones like if it's one or the other in my opinion. I know I know people can get like that pine, mm -hmm. and I'm sure if I was given one, like you're gonna taste pine in this one, or if that's yeah. the dominant flavor, I could probably pick it out then. Yeah. But usually my mind goes to those two. It's the, either the cedar or the oak. Um, yeah. yeah. There, there was also really nice leatheriness that really started to come through in the last third. So, um, absolutely love the cigar. Thought it was a, a home run. Absolutely. Um, with Dodgers season just starting last week, I can definitely see myself grabbing a few more of these and sitting down with a beer and enjoying a game. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And so, I, I wish there was smoking at Dodger Stadium. I don't think any spot is anymore. Yeah, it would be nice. It's not where you can watch the game. I think they have, no, like, they have smoking, yeah, smoking yeah, yeah. sections yeah, where you can't see anything and it's like a pillar in front of you. and Maybe a big TV would be fine. Like You have to sit on the outskirts but with the big TV so you're still with everybody. Yeah, I would be fine with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Mike, how'd that uh, Connecticut end up for you? Got real hot towards the end right there, guys. So you probably want to cut it off a little bit before what I did. But I was still enjoying it. Uh, the only reason I stopped is because it was too warm. At mm -hmm. that point, I was just tasting heat. I wasn't getting the flavors. But when I did get the flavors, they were phenomenal. I mean, I, I kind of want to go up to the Maduro. I think something heavier in this one would be nice. Something a little more complex. Mm -hmm. This one was kind of straightforward. That spice was really nice. There's a little bit of oakiness to it. Uh, a tiny little bit of sweet. Like a hay sweetness. Um, but that was more of the smell, the more of the aroma uh, than actually tasting hay. And um, I could definitely pick up another one and enjoy it. Like right now, in fact, I could probably have one back to back. Mm -hmm. Like, man, this is going to be a good day. I'm going to stick with my my uh, uh, blue band. But I believe it's the black that's a Maduro? Yes. Black band, yeah. Um, it's, it seems like something that if you like this one, you might want to try the rest of the line. I would definitely uh, recommend that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us on the set of reviews. We're going to have some more coming for you next week. Um, also, have some great reviews coming up exclusively for our Patreon, as well as some really good photo shoots uh, that we did, recently did with uh, Lexi Lake yep. uh, on our um, Patreon, too. So uh, if you guys want to check out our Patreon stuff, make sure you get on to uh, Patreon. Check out the Bakersfield Gentleman. Got a lot of great stuff coming for all the tiers. Uh, I want to say thank you to um, all of our Patreon subscribers already. Um, can I just thank a couple of them right now, Mitch and Chris? Yep. I think we're our very first two Patreon subscribers. Yeah. Um, so thank you to those guys and everybody else who signed up for Patreon. Really do appreciate it. Helps us out a lot. Um, want to thank Luxury Cigar Club and uh, Bravada Club for the sticks. Um, just got this month's Bravada Club in the mail yesterday, and Luxury should be here tomorrow or the day after. So uh, once we get those, we'll do pictures of those and uh, get into those as well. Really looking forward to. It. I mean, oh, yeah. even only having these um, subscription. Um, just a couple months. For just a couple months. Yeah. I've been really, really happy. Um, I know we do our Cigars of the Week, which we haven't picked one yet. Kind of yeah, got, 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 kind of got sidetracked with having to deal with the computer issues. Um, it's been a, 
a headache with that. So um, forgive us for that. You guys, we'll have a cigar of the week um, for the giveaway. We'll, we'll pick something out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you guys next time. Have a good one.